Well, that damage in Southeast Shreveport, the tornado touched down briefly along Uri Drive. Uh, this is a number of one of a number of businesses damaged there near the LSUS campus as it continued its path before it lifted near the Red River. Chief investigative reporter Stacy Cameron, first reporter on the scene. He shows us damage from several businesses that took a direct hit. I'm at the corner of Uri Drive in Sophia Lane where a tornado touched down around 530 this evening, damaging at least four structures. The Valero gas station, one of the places taking the hardest hit. You can see several pumps being hit here at this gas station. Now across the street, there's a laundromat that was also hit. We spoke to a man who said he was inside that building at the time the storm hit and two young children were outside in an SUV. Let's hear from him. I worked for Swept and I heard the transformer blow. And that made everybody's eyes kind of pop up, and I went, uh oh. And then the other transformer blew and it knocked the lights out. And that's when we, we all said, uh oh. We looked out, and the, that's when the wind started picking up. And this lady said, My babies are in the car. And she wanted me to help her. And I, and I said, Let's go. But then all of a sudden, the wind got so bad, I said, No, ma'am, don't go out. And that's her car underneath that sign. If we'd gone out there, I mean, we would have been hit by that sign. But anyway, it just came up. 20 seconds later, it was gone. And I mean, total chaos. Wind, I mean, glass breaking out everywhere. First first tornado I've ever been in. We haven't figured out exactly the path of the storm yet. Apparently it hopped over Uri Drive, so there's damage on the west side, and then there's damage on the east side in, uh, in South Broadmoor. Uh, they're, we're in a search and rescue mode. The, the fire and police have set up a command mode here at Gateway Church and uh, they're they're trying to make sure that there's that there's uh, nobody seriously injured we haven't found anybody ser seriously injured at this point uh, then uh, they're also looking to see if there are any people that are going to be displaced to try to find a place for them uh, to spend the night tonight so they can assess tomorrow morning you can see how strong that storm was this is an ice box and i live in this neighborhood i can tell you where it used to sit it was back here, probably about 50 yards on the side of the gas station. Now, not only was the gas station and that laundromat hit by the storm, but a bank and an insurance agency also taking severe damage in the storm. Now, we can report that, thankfully, at this corner, no one was injured. And we actually spoke to the mother of that six-year-old child and the infant that were in the car. They were being treated by paramedics, and they are doing fine.